Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Depending on when you're watching this, where you're watching this. Happy Monday. It's time for a, another week of your weight loss journey. How was last week? Did you move the ball forward at all? What new things did you try? Did you let another week go by and you tried nothing new? Or did you go set some goals and go crush something this week? Now, I want you to say this, this doesn't stop this relentless looking forward and finding your what's next thing that you go for. This doesn't, this doesn't end. Okay. But some people are like, Oh, but this tiring is so much work. Well, that's because you may be trying to keep setting your sights on things that don't interest you. Make sure you're setting goals that interest you that also are in alignment with your goal. Because this mindset isn't going to stop just when you reach the end of your weight loss journey. I mean, I'm still in maintenance and I'm still setting goals. And this last weekend, I set a new one here. I've, uh, I've got my other camera here. I'm going to show you what's going on, what I've got here. Let me, uh, let me turn this on, let you see it. Um, I'm pretty excited about this, you know, so I've lost weight as you all know, lost it. And, uh, but I'm really proud of some other accomplishments that I've been getting. And as you'll see here, my little teeny trophy shelf, which didn't have much on it, it's starting to get kind of full, but you're going to notice. I now have a two times Tough Mudder finisher. And I've got my second band and I've got some medals up there. I mean, that shelf's getting awfully full. Why am I showing you that? I never thought I'd have a shelf like this. Five years ago, I never would have thought I'd have a shelf like that. And that's just, and I know now that shelf's just getting started. It's going to be much bigger. What about you? Five years from now, what, what's gonna, what shelf are you going to have? What's going to be on your shelf that you're going to go for that has nothing to do with a pound on a scale? If all you're doing is thinking the number on the scale is the thing that's going to bring you happiness, well, what are you going to do when you get to maintenance? What's going to keep you going? What's going to keep you focused? Oh, I know. I'll work hard every week so the scale will stay the same. No, you won't because that'll get boring. The mind wants to move towards something. You're going to have to give it something to move towards. I've chosen running, obstacle course racing, just having a ball doing it. But this last weekend, I went and ran my second Tough Mudder just two days ago. And then I had to drop the rental car off this morning. The reason why I'm in my workout clothes is because I ran back. Like it's two miles away. And I'm like, well, I could just run back. I mean, I just did. And, but again, it's just, this just blows my mind because I know just five years ago, this wouldn't have seemed possible. And you, you could be here five years from now, or maybe even less doing what I'm doing. If you wanted, or doing some other thing that right now you would just be like mind blown that I'm doing this. There's so much out there that you can do, but if you never start, you're not ever going to get there. So make sure you listen to, by the way, make sure you listen to Friday's podcast episode. Uh, that'll really tie in well with what we're, uh, what I'm talking about here. So this week, well, first let's talk about for those of us in America tonight being Halloween candy, and now hopefully you've made it through October set intentions for the night. Don't be like, well, it's a holiday. I get to do whatever. No, no, no. It's not a holiday. I get to do whatever. It's a holiday. I'm going to do something different, but you still need to have intentionality. Free for all you needs to go away outside of very, very limited circumstances. Like your birthday is one of those. But every time it's a holiday, it doesn't need to be free for all time. It can just be cut loose a little bit time. Maybe you want to have some candy. I'm going to have a Butterfinger tonight and a Kit Kat because I love them and they're delicious. And I have not had one this holiday season and I'm going to have one. What are you going to do? You just do your thing, but bring intentionality to it. But don't get a case of the fuckets and go to a free-for-all and say, I'll pick it up tomorrow. Every time you do that, you run the risk of quitting and staying quit. You run the risk of stopping for good. So stop being so cavalier. For those of you that were thinking about just giving yourself the permission through some filthy web of logic to give yourself a case of the fuckets. Don't do that tonight. Now, some of you already have a plan. You already have an intention. Stick to it. Double down. Just be telling yourself all day what you plan to be doing, how you plan to handle it, and then just go handle it. To later today, I'm going to shift gears on you totally. Later today, information on the guild is going to come out. And you're going to be able to sign up. Okay. So as a founding member, I've been talking about it, been teasing it. It is here. Thought I was going to get it last, like on Thursday or Friday, but traveling to that tough mutter, uh, tra let's say travel plans didn't go according to plan as much as well as, as I would have liked. So I lost out on some work time 
And uh, but it should be today. I will have the doors open, and we can begin meeting. So look for another live stream. Uh, look for a special episode of the Chris Terrell podcast this week, where I'm going to talk about it. And um, of course, here in the Facebook group, I'll have information. And if your name is on the waiting list to be on the guild, I'm going to email you all out first. There is over 200 people on it, and I'm capping the founding membership at 200. So I'm going to send it to that list first. The first 200 that sign it, get it. After that, the doors close. So if you want to make sure you got a chance to be the, among the first to be in there, make sure to get your name on that list. Okay, this week... Set a goal, set an intention. Do not let a week go by where you don't try something new. You don't try to move the ball forward in some meaningful way. Make sure you do something. If it's you're gonna handle a holiday differently, do that. If it's you're gonna try something new with fitness, do that. If it's you're gonna work on setting some new boundaries with people in your life that keep maybe trying to sabotage you, do that. Whatever it is you need to do, just move the ball forward on that a little bit more. I also want you to listen to the Friday episode of the podcast if you have not. I rarely come on here and just really say you got to listen to one. This is one you really got to go listen to. Go listen to it because I'm talking about the number one enemy to your progress on your weight loss journey. And I'm going to give you a little spoiler. It's you. It's you. It's the same person that's holding me back, me. I'm only ever the one that is holding me back from where I wanna be. You are the only one that's ever holding you back from where you wanna be. That doesn't mean there are downside circumstances. Don't hear me say that. Hear me say the one you've been waiting for your entire life is you. All right, see you all later. Have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go have an amazing day and an amazing week. And I hope you do too. And if I don't see you in one of the later live streams, I will certainly see you next Monday on our weekly live stream. See you then.